Hello everybody and welcome back. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is walking you through my remote work setup. Now this is an absolutely ridiculously overkill setup. I'm valuing it at probably about 25,000 Canadian dollars just because I've been accumulating all of these items which you guys are going to see throughout the video for the past probably five years. And just keep in mind that this setup that I'm about to show you is for my remote work which I'm actually going to be doing at Microsoft this summer as a remote intern, software engineering intern, as well as for filming YouTube videos. This is the YouTube set and any other work that I would need to do at home. I pretty much live in this setup, which I'm going to show you right now. And that is why I've invested so much time and so much money into building it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into my remote work setup. All right, so what I'm going to do is literally just walk around my setup and just talk about things as we get to it. It's going to be a very casual, informal video. I don't really have anything planned, so, you know, I might miss some things, but let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. So you can kind of see that this is the main setup. We've got some nice foam on the wall. I've got a little workstation in the right-hand corner here. This is kind of my filming set, so like this kind of angle here when I'm talking in a video. And this is actually the setup for my new podcast called Time Out with Tim. So if you're watching this video, the first episode of my new podcast is live. It's on a second YouTube channel in video format, and it's also on Spotify, Apple Music, um, Anchor, uh, like any other platform you can think of, it's available on there. So please do go check that out. I think you guys are going to find it interesting. It's just talking about programming, technology, how I got into coding, how I am, you know, tech with Tim, the full-time student working at Microsoft running this YouTube channel. Uh, and just have some interesting guests on there as well. So please do go subscribe to that second YouTube channel, even if you guys don't plan on watching it and just support me because this is something that I'm quite excited about starting. So this is the podcast setup. So I'll go through the first most important thing, which is the audio interface. So say quad channel audio interface, which takes input from this XLR microphone, from this XLR microphone, and from this computer when we have any guests on. So I am planning on having some guests from the tech space, maybe from some other fields as well. It's not just going to be tech. It's going to talk about like work ethic, life, finance, like things like that as well. Uh, and the idea here is that we have this kind of connector that goes into the Mac so that we can send audio to the Mac and get audio from the Mac. Uh, and this is a 2019 MacBook Pro. So this is the 16 inch version, really nice. The display is just gorgeous and the keyboard, they did a way better job on it than the previous models. So definitely recommend if you guys wanna get a new laptop. Then I have a GoPro up here. So this films my brother if he's gonna be talking on the podcast. So the idea is like, if you guys watch Joe Rogan, he's gonna be like the Jamie of the podcast. Um, so he's gonna sit here and do all the technical stuff, look some stuff up if we need him to. Anyways, let's get away from that now and go over here. So this is my main kind of workstation slash YouTube filming area. This is a custom L desk that we built specifically for this room. So this used to be a theater room. You can see there's a projector here. There's a little couch that used to be actually on this wall here. And uh, obviously the big projector screen. So this is usually where we'd watch movies and stuff, but we just decided that we don't really use it enough. So let's convert this to the Tech with Tim studio. Uh, so this is, yeah, custom L desk. We finished it, stained it, built it by hand in here. Just went out and bought all the wood for it. Uh, my dad's pretty handy, so he pretty much did that for us. You can see this is the Rode microphone we're going to use for the podcast. This is Rode NT1. Some of you may appreciate what this is. It's on an A shock mount. You can see, again, that's on the swivel. So this, like, PS something Rode swivel that's uh, spring loaded. So those are the headphones, again, used for the podcast. You can see the tripod. This is usually where I'll have the camera kind of facing this way when we're filming a YouTube video. So anyways, let's go over to the workstation now, which I'm sure some of you are more interested in. So this is my big PC. This is a custom built PC. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I built that in like 2017, so it's getting a little outdated now. Then you can see I have a 27 inch main monitor and a 24 inch secondary monitor. This is a 4K LG monitor. I don't know the exact model of it. And this one is an MSI, just 1080p, but it's 144 hertz. So I used to use that for gaming, but then I put this one in the middle because I don't really do that much gaming anymore. In terms of peripherals, the main stuff, obviously, we have keyboard and mouse. So this is my keyboard. This is a DAS keyboard 4Q. This actually has a Cherry MX Brown switches in it. Really nice keyboard, would really recommend it. It's fully programmable, so you can actually change the backlighting of every single one of these keys. And you can set it up with different APIs so that like you can have, for example, these 10 keys up here representing the usage of your CPU. You can have like the escape key flash if you get a new email. Uh, really cool keyboard, I'm gonna do a review on that uh, later probably in the month. 
This is my mouse. This is a Steel Series uh, Rival 300 Black or something like that. Zoom in and see if you can get that focused. Uh, and that's on a full length Steel Series mouse pad. Just figured I'd stay consistent with that. So let's talk about the computer. Then I'll go through some other peripherals. This is again custom built. So this is in a Corsair Crystal Series case. It's tempered glass on four sides and it's rocking an i5-7600K. So that's overclocked with this dual, radi dual radiator water cooler and a 1066 gigabyte graphics card. So this was an older build, this is about 2017 that I made this. You can see we have 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it actually has four hard drives in it. So two actual hard drives that are four terabytes and then two solid state drives for my Ubuntu and Windows operating system so I can dual boot on there. So these are RGB fans, obviously. Probably my favorite part of the build is this front. You can, it looks really nice. You can change what the fans do. So there's some settings up here to do that and a power button and USBs and all that. Check out kind of the cable management. I'll try to give you a sneak peek here. You can see this monitor's on a wall mount. And now we'll talk about some of the other peripherals and items that I have. So this is my Beats Pill. This is kind of just my main speaker. Sounds really good. I like listening to music when I'm programming, so I usually have that on. Although now I can actually use the sound system from this theater. So that's typically what I do. So that's why I've got Spotify up here on my second monitor. You can see it says listening on Sonos, which is the system we use for my house. So I also have some AirPods. I don't really use these anymore, but I used to when I was at school and actually walking around. That's on a Samsung wireless charger, uh, how ironic. And then we have two lamps, which are what I'm gonna talk about now, because these are really cool lamps. So this is a BenQ, uh, I believe it's called Screen Bar Plus. And the, this is the control for it. So you can see it goes on and off like that. You can actually change the brightness and the temperature of that lamp. So let's change the temperature now to be like warmer or cooler. Uh, and it just makes it so it's easier to look at your monitor and gives you some light on the actual desk surface. This is called the BenQ e-reading lamp. So this lamp is similar to this, um, this screen bar plus. Of course, obviously it's bigger and it can swivel out and has a lot more adjustment, but this does the same thing. So you can actually hit this touch bar to turn it on and off. And then if I can get here, you can do uh, the brightness and temperature of the lamp as well. So yeah, I think we're getting temperature. Yeah, that's the temperature. So then there's an auto setting. You can hold it down. It changes it automatically. So I guess that leads me to the webcam here. This is just a 1080p webcam. It's what I use when I'm doing a face cam for any tutorial videos. And other than that, I guess all that's really left to talk about is this fidget spinner and my metal pen. So these are my two kind of like fidget items that I always have on my desk. They go with me everywhere I go. Uh, when I need to focus, I'll literally just pick this bad boy up and spin it around. You can see how worn out it is. I really need to get a new one. Uh, and then I have this pen that I like to spin around. It's like a metal pen. So it's nice. It has a nice weight to it when you're holding it. Obviously a coaster, so I'm not getting any coffee stains or anything on my desk. And then I'll walk you through kind of the bottom area here. So I have this headset. This is a Corsair gaming headset. This is usually what I use just if I'm gaming. I've been using it a little bit more now during this quarantine stuff, but it's kind of old. Although it is a good headset. It has like 5.1 surround sound or something on it. Uh, there's a drawing tablet down here. It's not too exciting, but that's just what I use if I'm doing like uh, some explaining videos like in whiteboard style. Uh, and other than that, I don't really know what else to talk about here. I mean, I have this little lamp. I have my Tech with Tim mug. You guys can purchase that from Teespring. There should be a thing underneath the video. And then I'll just walk you through the underneath of my desk, a little bit of cable management. So trying to power all the stuff that I have is always very difficult. I need to put like power bars inside of power bi bars inside of power bars. You can see there's one there. There's one that extends there that actually comes as a this green cable that runs all the way over here to where my other kind of extra random tech items are. And then obviously I'm using power outlets here and I'm using the power from underneath that desk uh, to try not to short anything in my house. So there is another power bar there. You can see the cable management going on here. And there is actually a network switch back there so that I can have all my different devices hardwired right into the, uh, the router or the modem. So other than that, I think that's pretty much it for my tech setup. I mean, I'll kind of just pan around here so you guys can continue to look at it. Uh, but I hope this video gave you some motivation, maybe some ideas for what you want to put in your tech setup. Again, keep in mind, I've been collecting these items for the past five years. So as much as this stuff is very expensive, I'm valuing it at probably just over 20,000 Canadian, all of the little things I have combined. I mean, remember, I have like another laptop there, an iPhone 8, another speaker, a mini laptop here, like an iPad, like all that stuff. Uh, it's because I've been collecting it for a long time and this is a business expense. Like these are investments to me to be able to make videos. 
So anyways, that has pretty much been it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in another YouTube video.